for those of you who are joining us, uh, welcome to the first Masterpiece Product Theater uh, by Children with Diabetes. Tonight, we are very happy to have our, our first session hosted by uh, the team from Abbott Diabetes Care to discuss Freestyle Libre 2. We're going to wait just a couple more minutes because people are still coming in, and I don't want anybody to miss important stuff. Carrie, anything else to add in this, uh, this opening? No, I was just thinking about um, CGM. And so I've, I've met a lot of you in the last couple of days, but I've had type one for 34 years and I started by doing all the finger prick stuff. So just the idea that I, I haven't pricked my finger in like a long time, it's pretty awesome and such a shift from what it was like when I was diagnosed. So yeah. That, so I think we have everyone in who's going to join us this evening. So once again, welcome to the first Masterpiece Product Theater. This evening, we'll be learning about Abbott's Freestyle Libre 2. And to kind of piggyback on what Carrie said, this technology really is changing how people care for type 1 diabetes. And I remember hearing a story of a young boy from the UK many years ago who was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and put on the original Libre at diagnosis. Never did a finger stick. Went back to see his physician a couple months later to get his first hemoglobin A1C and panicked because he had to get a finger stick. And I think that illustrates very clearly how these devices, this CGM technology is fundamentally changing how we care for type 1 diabetes. So let me do some introductions for those of you who are joining us. Uh, I've been working with Bernie Goldberg. Bernie, good to see you uh, for quite some time to get this organized. Uh, and this evening we have uh, Kelsey Pappas, a district sales trainer for Abbott Diabetes Care, passionate about CGM. He was diagnosed with type one diabetes when he was five and he's uh, been using Freestyle Libre for quite some time. He's, his hobbies include playing sports, being outdoors, traveling pre-COVID and spending time with his family. Uh, we also have Anjum Ansari, Senior Product Manager at Abbott Diabetes Care. She's been with the company for over a decade and played a pivotal role in establishing this new product category for continuous glucose monitoring within the federal healthcare market. Really important. And then joining us from Tampa is Team Freestyle Libre Influencer, Bernetta Knighton, blogger, life coach, motivational speaker, and mom of three. And we look forward to hearing how Freestyle Library 2 has impacted her life and her families. So with that, I wanna you know, hand this over to Kelsey. Oh, and okay. we actually have, um, we have our first uh, comment. Uh, very pleased with Libre uh, for more than a year. Type one for 65 years. That's pretty impressive. Wow, incredible. So I love hearing stories like that. I think he's gonna be our record holder here. And yeah, Jeff, if I, could just, if I could just add one quick thing. So with all the people in the chat and all of us here on the call, it would be great if you have questions or things that you wanna say or just something that you wanna share, please feel free to put that right into the chat. We'll be monitoring that throughout the course of the hour. And we're really excited to hear from everybody on the call. So please do be uh, checking in over there. Yeah, and feel free to use the Q&A. You can uh, post questions anonymously if you prefer. So let's, let's start with Kelsey here. You are the Freestyle Libre 2 product expert and I've got I've got some questions for you. So All right. tell us about the Freestyle Libre 2 and what are some of the new features? Yeah, so if you are familiar at all with Freestyle Libre 14 day, um, very similar, um, but the new features are that there's low and, and high um, glucose alarms. So if you cross a threshold of say, you know, 70, if you go below that number, there's gonna be a low glucose alarm that goes off. If you set your high, alarm at 240 and you cross that threshold, the alarm is going to go off. So it really provides kind of that safety net um, for patients, which is uh, super reassuring, um, especially for myself um, in times like the middle of the night where you're not going to feel those, you know, um, so huge for me so far. Um, and, and then, you know, you have some other features uh, such as um, improved low end accuracy. So on the low end from 14 day to to Freestyle Libre 2, um, there is uh, improved low end or uh, accuracy on the low end. So is, is Freestyle well, Libre 2 considered uh, an adjunctive or a non-adjunctive CGM? Like, can I, can you dose on it per FDA? 
Yes, we so we do have the dosing. Uh, we do have the dosing approval from the FDA. Um, and so whatever reading you see on um, on your reader or your your phone when you scan is uh, is you can take that as as gospel, so to say, and and treat based on those numbers. That's a that's a big big uh, feature that people with type one are looking. Yeah, huge. yeah. So you don't know no you know nothing. Don't have to confirm. Um, and yeah, it's great. So all right. Yeah, so that, the next God. question: Who's elig eligible? For freestyle Libre two, what's the what are the age ranges basically? Well, since since we're uh, at a pediatric conference, we'll we'll start with that. So, um, kids ages four and up with diabetes um, are eligible for the freestyle Libre two, and it's pretty much as simple as that. He's interesting, and just as an aside, you mentioned children with diabetes pediatric conference. N natural assumption at our summer virtual friends for life orlando conference we had more adults with type 1 than we had kids by a long shot mm -hmm. and when we finally get back together hopefully in july of 2021 vaccine availability uh you know uh, we're all hoping for we are almost certain to have more grown-ups living with type mm -hmm. 1 than kids and i think that's a reflection of those who've come to our conferences as kids over the years coming back as adults, it was that meaningful to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but good to know. All right. What are the benefits for a caregiver? Um, well, if you just think about the, the peace of mind that it's going to give caregivers that, uh, whether it's their child or their spouse, um, to be able to scan their sensor every minute and get a new reading, and never have to wonder what their blood sugar is. Um, if you think about the difference between that and maybe, uh, you know, being allotted four to six strips a day by your insurance company. And so then, so you're, you're maxed out at six tests per day. A lot of times that's not enough. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I might be on the neurotic side, but I, I scan, I think on average of like 27, 28 times a day, just because I always want to, I always want to know where I'm at. Um, in my mind, like, you know, why wouldn't you? And so, Freestyle Libre 2 uh, gives me the, the freedom to do that and just gives me a ton of peace of mind because I'm never never guessing or never wondering where I'm at. I know for sure um, I'm in a, in a certain range. And I can imagine for parents of kids, it's much easier to wave a reader over the Libre on body part than it is to tackle a kid and stick them with a- Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a battle. Not that I have any experience with that one line. Carrie, are there some questions? Oh, I'm just having flashbacks to when my mom would tackle me and check my blood sugar. I was diagnosed when I was seven and it was always like, I need to check you, I need to check you and the reluctant giving of the finger and it's kind of stressful. But so hearing about your parenting perspective kind of blows me away a little bit because I must have been a pain in the butt to her. But um, so we've got some questions that are coming in through uh, the audience participation portion. So do you mind if I hit a couple of those? Because I want to make sure we're addressing those as we go. And the first, I'll assume you're going to say yes. So the first question is that they hear about, someone in the chat has heard about sites having compression lows, and they don't know exactly what that means. And they wanted to get a little context on what a compression low is and what your take is on, on that. This is a question for me? It's a question for whoever has a question. Not me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think placement is is you know, it, freestyle libre is is obviously only approved for the back of the upper arm. So I think placement is crucial, um, and I think that uh, you know I don't I I don't experience it personally um, because I just try to try not to. I think it's just for me it's it's uncomfortable in general to to sleep on top of a sensor. Um, so I haven't found that personally, but um, I'd be interested to know. And it's not something I hear a lot about in the field as a as a sales rep. Um, but I would be interested to, see, to hear your guys' perspective on um, kind of what you've heard and uh, what what the data shows, maybe. Interesting. All right. So I have a last question, and then, given that you are sort of the expert, I want to add uh, bring up one of our polls here. So, if you're struggling to afford it, does Abbott have a patient assistance program? We do, yeah. So we have a Freestyle Libre voucher uh, hotline. So if uh, 
If you do need financial assistance, we have a uh, free Salary Brave voucher hotline. Uh, the number is 844-330-5535. Uh, should know that by heart. Um, and then Bernie, I think you might put that in the chat for us. Yeah, cool. and, and we'll take care of including that uh, in the write-up of the uh, this video presentation. All right, let me yeah. get to that. The poll, which is for all of you in the audience to, to respond to, it's what feature is most important to you with the CGM? So here comes the poll. And what we need is the, the final Jeopardy music in the background. <laughs> da, 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 da. So answers are coming in. We'll let this go for another uh, 10 seconds or so because I don't want anyone's opinion to be missed here. We're not letting the panelists vote, but I know what I would vote for. I know, I feel a little bit left out of this. I can't give my opinion or I can't swipe mm -hmm. all of them. Same. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's sort of like what's top and then we'll, we'll let everybody address. All right, I, I think I'm gonna end the poll now and we'll share this with, the, with everyone here. So you should all see the results. Accuracy came out number one which I think uh, makes a lot of sense. The more accurate a sensor is, everything else kind of falls into place. Yeah, so Freestyle Libre 2 has uh, unsurpassed 14-day accuracy. Uh, it's, met, it's met all the, the highest accuracy standards and it even was uh, given um, the ICGM indication, which is the integrated uh, CGM with a pump, um, which we're not quite integrated yet, but we have that kind of... Uh, approval going forward that says that um, basically the blood sugars that the Freestyle Libre shows um, can be integrated with a pump and dosing and de dosing decisions can be made off of those numbers. Um, and so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get any more accurate or, or serious than that. I mean, if there's going to be a system automatically dosing you from your numbers, yep. you, better, you better be really accurate. And, and we have that indication. So it's uh, pretty reassuring. Fantastic. Um, yeah. There is a question that came up in the chat. Um, it has to do with uh, lives in Canada. Uh, they have approved it. When will it be generally available in Canada? I don't mm. know if you <laughs> know the answer. I'll take that one, Kelsey. I, okay. we, we are actually the US market sales and marketing representatives, but what we can do is take that question and follow it up with our Canada team um, just because we're not as familiar with um, their availability and timing, um, but pricing generally it, across the globe stays the same. Um, right. But we'll ensure to follow up. Yeah, and I'll I we will save the chat discussions so that we can uh, address those individually if need be. All right, Carrie, I'm going to hand it over to you because I get some fun questions with Bernetta. Yeah. So Kelsey, Bernetta. thank you very much. Great overview. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And so kind of getting into like the living with diabetes and its practical application and using a CGM, Bernetta, I have a series of questions for you. I hope you don't mind if I just kind of pepper them out at you. But the first one would be by way of introduction, can you just tell us a little bit about your diabetes diagnosis for the CWD team that hasn't met you yet? Sure, thank you all for having me. Um, I was diagnosed with type one diabetes five years ago in 2015. And before I was diagnosed, the months up leading up to it, I was using the bathroom frequently three to four times an hour. My vision had got blurry. I didn't know what was going on with my eyes. Um, I had to sleep all the time and I was always thirsty. Um, I decided this was between like September through December. I was having these symptoms and in January, I normally go for my regular checkups and I did some research and diabetes came up. Of course, I'm thinking type two. Um, but when I go to the doctor for my physical, I ask, may I have um, a diabetes test in addition to my regular blood work? She says, sure. Um, when I got my results back, everything was normal as it always is, but my glucose number was three times the amount. So she thought it was a fluke and she called me back in the next day and she ran the blood work again and the same thing happened. It was like over 300. So she put me on metformin and thought I was type two. Um, so between January and February, they did a lot of tests. They did the C-peptide test and it came back that I was type one. And I started seeing the endocrinologist ever since March of 2015. Um, so that's my type one story. 
it's, I just find that so interesting when people can remember the before of their diagnosis. So if I was diagnosed as a kid, I don't remember a whole lot of the before, but that must have been a really jarring moment to be like, this is, this is definitely, definitively on board now. So what was that like for you emotionally? It was, I was very sad for a long time when I first found out, um, like I didn't tell anybody except my inner circle for maybe two years because I'm like, why does this happen to me? You know, all my numbers are normal. I eat good. I exercise like why me? Um, but my husband, um, is my rock and he, you know, he got me a trainer, which took me out of my funk. <laughs> And um, I eventually, you know, felt better and was like, you know, I have this disease and I want to live my best life. So I am going to do what I need to do. And I came out of the funk. But yeah, I, I love that. <laughs> I love the funk emergence. That's very important <laughs> in terms of a diagnosis. And so I, like you, I've got a couple of small kids. And um, so when you're when you were diagnosed, like how did you communicate this new normal for you to your family? What were those conversations like? Um, like I said, I didn't tell my inner circle. Well, I only told my inner circle and I didn't tell anybody else for two years, but it took me about six months to, before I told my children. Mm -hmm. And I have three kids at the time. They, I don't remember how old they were at the time, but um, my youngest was three, maybe four and six or eight, something like that at the time. And I was going out of the room and it was time for me to prick my finger I would leave the room and you know you're at home with your kids all the time so I was always going out the room to prick my finger always going out the room to give myself insulin didn't want you know locking the door just a lot of stress and my endocrinologist she could tell I was stressed out and she asked me she's all right your children don't know do that you know she just knew I'm like they don't know she said tell them they will be okay I promise you and so I did I had to sit down with them explain to them what diabetes was and what now mommy has to do you know and to my surprise they were absolutely fine with it um very supportive even at a young age and now five years later I have a elementary middle and a high schooler they're super supportive um and they know when mommy is low and I'm high by my attitude and they <laughs> they're like mommy do you need to take your insulin or do you need something to eat so <laughs> So they're super supportive. Yeah, those are my favorite questions where it's like, are you low? You seem angry. It's like, <laughs> I'm just angry. I might be low, but I'm definitely still angry. But um, like, so after five years of having type one, you, you must have come across some stuff that works for you in terms of managing diabetes. And I hate to use phrases like that because it makes it seem like you've got it nailed every time and it's always, you know, what you want. But what, what are those like best practices that you've learned over the last couple of years? I'm definitely still in a learning phase. Um, mm -hmm. I'm always reading books about type one and trying to get, you know, deeper involved. But one thing that I learned that is helping me as I go along is pre-bolusing. Mm -hmm. um, because when you pre-bolus, you know, that means you take your insulin before you eat. And for a long time, I did not take my insulin before I ate. I took it after and sometimes way after. And we know that if you do that, you're chasing your high later, which affects your A1C. So usually if you take it before you can maintain your blood sugar um, along the way. So that was a tip that I learned from someone else online. And they had this shirt that just said pre bowls pre bowls pre bowls <laughs> And I'm like, okay, I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, if you wear it, then you do it. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> but so uh, the CGM, when did that become part of your, the tool, one of the tools in your toolbox? Um, almost two years ago, I had a friend who knew I had type one and she was like, she sent me like a Facebook ad and she was like, look at this, B, you don't have to prick your finger. And I was like, that looks nice. I saw the commercial, but I don't think I have access to that. Um, but then I went to my endocrinologist and he actually did have access to it and gave me one to try. And then once he did that, um, I actually you know for a prescription and I was hooked ever since mm -hmm. then. So this February, I think will be like two years since I've been on the freestyle lately. And this seems like a weird question to ask about a medical device, but what do you like the most about it? Because people with diabetes, we get very literally attached to these things and you get a real affection for technology. So what's like the, the best thing that's, that's happened since kind of making it part of what you're doing? I will say with the Freestyle Libre too, I love the alarms because mm -hmm. I will tell you when I was first diagnosed, even the first couple of years, one of the things I would say to my husband before I went to bed sometimes is check on me check on me in the middle of the night because you know when you go low and sometimes when you wake up you can't get out the bed if you're too weak you know and sometimes I'll have he, I would wake him up like could you give me some grapes or you know could you give me some oranges or I won't try to wake him up and I'll just try to make my way to the kitchen mm -hmm. you know and um 
I'm just so grateful, you know, that every day I did wake up, but I would say to him, wait, just check on me in the middle of the night. So with the Freestyle Libre 2, the sensor that goes off, you know, if you're too low is amazing. And it does work because it wakes both of us up. <laughs> um, and even when you're too high, using it has showed me that I, I'm high more than I thought I was, you know. Um, so I like that. And like Kelsey, Kelsey, am I saying your name correctly? Kelsey said like he wants to check 27 times a day. I'm not up there yet, but I think I am going to pump up my check in <laughs> because um, I think it's always great to just know where you are. So. Mm -hmm. And now that's so because, now you're, oh, sorry. I was just going to say that's because you're mentally healthy and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, I was thinking in terms of you. So only five years ago, you were diagnosed and you were explaining diabetes to your kids once you reached that comfort level of explaining it. So mm -hmm. how do you go about explaining devices to kids? Like instead of mommy goes into the bathroom to prick her finger, it's like, well, now mommy beeps. So how, what were those conversations like in terms of device use? I'm um, just showing them what it is because they know that, you know, I scan my mm -hmm. arm with the phone sometimes and I scan it with the device. And sometimes um, if I have to prick my finger, like in between, if I don't put it on quick enough, I have to prick my finger. They're old enough now where they have seen me do it. And if they need, to, you know, if they have any questions, then I could just tell them. But when I first got it, I just explained it. And I think it's pretty cool that I can mm -hmm. use my phone or that I have the device. Um, and they know when I leave it, you know, what's it? what's it what it does and even my husband he knows what it does so he'll be like where's your device where's your device you know let me scan your arm. <laughs> let me see where you are right now so um I think it's just about taking the time with your children to explain everything in their language and let them ask you questions mm -hmm. so you can clearly um explain it and say do you understand if you don't what do you need to know so I can you know better explain it to you I remember I've worn a Libre a couple of times and uh, my family and I would like to test how many coats and sweaters I could put on and the thing would still scan. And that became like a weird um, game that we played at the house. And I know that's mm -hmm. unusual, but um, I'm gonna pretend <laughs> I didn't say it now, but you could get very bulky and the thing would still scan, which I found incredible. Um, so Jeff, I, I see that we've got another poll, but I don't have the mechanical ability to launch yeah, it. So, so let's, let that fly? this is another poll. Um, let me get, yes, and this is sort of, uh, this is for Bernetta and the audience, so here we go. Did it, did it launch? There sure. it goes. I was tired. Zoom fatigue for Zoom itself, that seems so meta. <laughs> it is. Nice. Yeah, the, the the responses are rolling in. We should probably give them another minute or so. Yep. This is yep. Fascinating. The lack of yeah. diversity in the response. Everybody likes the same thing. Everyone, <laughs> and, and one is completely mm -hmm. committed. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to end the poll because I haven't seen a vote in a oh, one just snuck in under the wire. Here we are. <laughs> All right, sharing the results. Technology. Big win. Big win, yeah. It's it's amazing. Um, so our family has had type 1 diabetes. We've been involved for 31 years. My daughter, Marissa, was diagnosed when she was two in 1989. Uh, one of the biggest innovations was the advent of uh, the rapid acting analogs, Humalog, Novolog, things like that, because it changed, to Bernetta's point, it changed when you could dose kids. Kids are not the most reliable eaters, so sometimes you would watch what they ate and then give them insulin. The analogs made that less problematic, but the biggest change um, has been the technologies, the sensors that let us listen to our body, uh, the pumps that have gotten small enough that you can put them on toddlers, those types of things. So I, I would, I would tend to agree that the technologies were. Right. Carrie, do you have a, a, a thought one way or another on those? Yeah, after 34 years with type one, um, if you told me that I could get my blood sugar results like on a device, first of all, if you told me that I'd have an iPhone, I'd be like a what? But if I could just get my results on a smart device and I wouldn't have to prick my finger all the time and not worry as much about going low and not have to like worry about hypoglycemia in the middle of the night, that that would have been a game changer mentally and emotionally because sometimes it was the lows 
for me that I feared the most and really had the most concern about. And so having something that took away a lot of that concern was huge, huge. Yeah. yeah. And I, if I can pipe problem. in real quick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Bernetta. Oh, I was just going to say with the technology of checking with your device or even with the reader, you can check in and nobody even know that you're checking mm -hmm. your blood. You know, you can just do this and they don't know what you're doing, you know, and you can. So it's so private, but, you know, you yeah. can get what you need when you need it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, overshare and say that I, I started with a urinalysis kit the first month I was diagnosed, and that was not discreet, definitely not mm -hmm. private, and 100% gross. So this is a huge <laughs> upgrade. Yeah, indeed. Kelsey? I was just going to say all the all the options on that poll are kind of intertwined, you know, but I think kind of at the top lies technology, and then, and then all those other things kind of fall into place, right? So like, I think if you have the right technology, such as the Freestyle Libre 2, or um, an insulin pump, or the combination of the two, um, it, it just makes those those medication decisions uh, so much more exact and just easier. And then um, diet and lifestyle, it's just like, you just, you know, um, you just kind of, to always know where you stand and never have to wonder. I think that's that was the biggest thing for me. It's like, I always have peace of mind because I know where my blood sugar is. I know where I stand and therefore I can make treatment decisions with my insulin based on that or my exercise decisions yep. or my activity level based on, you know, what my blood sugar is. And before it was just such a guessing game, you know, um, and to, re to remove uh, the guessing is, has been huge. I um, mean, technology has come such a long way in the past five years. I mean, Carrie, you can, you can relate. I mean, I'm 27 years in, you're, you know, 34 years in, I believe you said, um, it was mm -hmm. kind of trickling along for a while there. And now it's like, we're at the you know, we're kind of at the at, at the precipice of like diabetes technology is like uh, it's it's exploding and it's super exciting to I guess I don't know in a weird way it's super exciting to be a type one right now. <laughs> um, Yay! Well, that's a good yeah, exactly. as it ever has been. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good way to, good way to put it. So um, yeah, I think you know all those things are intertwined, but having the right technology can can just make your life so much easier. That's what it's all about, you know. I used to make the joke that getting a box of 200 Lancets would last me for the rest of my life. And now that seems yeah. actually true. That blows my mind. So Right. Yeah. And no more, you know, little pepper marks on my fingers anymore. Or, um, I mean, all those things just kind of add up and we don't have to deal with that anymore, which makes a big difference to us. Absolutely. You know, we did just get a question from the chat. It was more of a clarification, but it would be great if you could um, embellish on this a little bit. Uh, the, the person had asked to, for us to make it clear that a CGM does not check blood glucose, but interstitial fluid, which is about 15 minutes behind a blood check. So would anyone feel comfortable sort of talking to that point a bit? Yeah, I can, I can do that if you want me to. So uh, we use like the illustration of almost like, a, like a, a train with like the front car and the caboose. So like if you're going to go up a hill um, and so your blood sugar is the hill and the train's coming along. And that's uh, the front car is your blood glucose. That front car is going to reflect what the blood sugar is going up that hill a little bit faster than the caboose is, um, which is the interstitial fluid. It's going to be about, yeah, probably on average about 15 minutes behind, um, if this makes any sense to you guys at all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to paint a picture, but usually I'm like, I'm like looking it. at an actual picture. Um, so, yeah, we usually say, I mean, because of kind of, we call it lag time. Um, say, yeah, on average, maybe about 15 minutes behind. So if you, if you check yourself and um, you're 130 on your sensor, but your finger stick is saying, you know, 150, um, that, that 130 should be in that 150 range within, um, you know, within 15 minutes max, I would say, at least in my experience. And, and that's kind of what we say in the field as well. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good, a good clarification. <laughs> Oh, sorry, just to, because I was the only one that talked about urine so far. One of the folks in the chat did say that their brother had to wring their diaper out and dose using results from old urine in the early 70s. Oh my gosh. That actually wow. makes me feel a little better. So I'm really glad that they shared yes. that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Well, we, we did use diapers to do ketone testing. You could mash a ketone strip into the diaper and see if there were, were ketones there. Um, Thankfully, we don't do that anymore either. So, I'd, I'd want to make one more point on the uh, blood glucose versus ISF. Usually, like you know, going up and down those hills, that analogy I kind of drew, those hills are usually um, from like eating, exercise, dosing, dosing insulin. 
most of the time, if you're not doing any of those things, there's not going to be much of a hill there. You know what I mean? So they should match up pretty evenly if you haven't done, you know, one of those three things, which is, you know, dose medication, exercise or, or eat. So. Very good. I'm following your literal train of thought. I'm into it. (laughs) I kind of want a little train thing. (laughs) Christmas idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's um, let's move on to Anjum. I've, I have a question for you. You've been patiently waiting here. Um, what is the My Freestyle program? Can you tell us about it? Yes, absolutely. Um, let me just share my screen real quick. Uh, are you able to see my PowerPoint? I'm the one person yes. um, that's speaking to slides, and I've been loving this conversation because. Um, It's great to hear the enthusiasm behind CGM, but as well as how we can put together the technology, um, diet and exercise, as well as integrating learnings, like Kelsey just explained um, the difference between sensor and blood glucose level. So I am uh, happy to be here today. I am required because we are talking about the Freestyle Libre 2 system to just show up, show our indications and important safety information which can also be found online at freestylelibre.us. And I'm really pleased to have the opportunity to introduce the new Freestyle, My Freestyle program to you, as it essentially um, highlights Abbott's vision and mission, which is to make breakthrough technology approachable and accessible for all, as well as our vision of a world where every person with diabetes is free to live life to the fullest. Um, Essentially, this entire panel has been discussing the benefits of CGM technology with the Free Celebrate family of products because it's proven to be an effective tool in bridging that gap for people living with diabetes who are both on insulin and non-insulin therapies, um, as well as it can provide personal insights as how to specific foods and activity impact glucose levels. And what we did with the MyFreeCell program is that we know that oftentimes people with diabetes uh, struggle with um, essentially not having a one size fits all approach when it comes to managing their diabetes. So what we wanted to do um, to complement our tool is provide a valuable resource that en- enhances a, page, a person's uh, experience with CGM. And that, that's why I'm thrilled to introduce the My Freestyle program, which is the first step towards better care and management of your diabetes. In this free 14-day program, we'll guide you through a whole new way to manage your diabetes using the Freestyle Libre 2 system, the number one CGM worldwide. And to give you context, my Freestyle is intended to be a helping hand. It's not there to replace, you know, interaction with your physician, but it's there to make it easier to understand your diabetes, take action and stay motivated so you can thrive And in the case that you're a caregiver with a child with diabetes, we want to ensure that your child can thrive as well. So to answer your question, Jeff, how does the My Freestyle program work? There is essentially three main components to the program itself. When you join the My Freestyle program, you'll receive a complimentary Freestyle Libre 2 system along with educational content and support. Um, You can enroll in three uh, easy steps at myfreestyle.us. Through a short eligibility check, you can obtain a free Freestyle Libre 2 system voucher. Those eligible can redeem this voucher with a prescription at retail pharmacy. And if you're a legally authorized caregiver for a child, you may complete this enrollment on behalf of your child. From there, you'll then receive customized educational content delivered through email through the first 14 days of your journey. You may also opt into a customer care support call in the 14-day journey if you choose to. So this customer care call is really just to proactively give you a call, find out what's working, what's not working, and then see if we can assist you. Oop, I'm sorry, I didn't flash that animation ahead of time. I was jumping ahead of myself. So what we do is we view the educational content as the crux of the My Free Cell program. And that's because we want to ensure that um, you as a new Free Cell Libre user has a solid onboarding experience with CGM. So My Free Cell offers bite-sized sequential content that builds upon your experience. And it really was designed to be um, 
distributed in easy digestible format. So it's easy for you to learn about CGM. This educational content focuses on four key components, an education, an activity, a check-in, and then resources available, ready and available for you should you decide to learn more. I think Kelsey just provided a great example about how we explain um, sensor glucose versus BGM glucose and like the train analogy. And this, the resources that are shown are actually, uh, uh, you can easily click onto a video that goes through that process. So what I'm gonna show you next is just really how the educational content experience happens if you join the program. Through daily content and activities, my free cell shows you how to use the CGM providing you personal insights about your diabetes and the impact of food and activity on your glucose levels. Again, we focus on the uh, education component, which really just shows you an introduction to CGM fundamentals with discovery topics, um, just as what we described, understanding differences between blood and sensor glucose. Um, as you can see to the right on this uh, day seven email, we focus on time and target, and this explains to a CGM user um, how to interpret how they're doing based on the target ranges that they mutually agree upon with their physician. It also focuses on an engagement with a daily activity. You can practice scanning before and after meals, explore the impact of exercise and learn, potentially learn how overnight hypoglycemia impacts how you feel. I love this. I previously worked with a previous CGM user who was super excited to learn how strawberries impacted their glucose. And the reason why it was so important to him was because strawberries was his favorite fruit and he wanted to be able to incorporate it into his diet. And by scanning before and after he ate, he was able to determine how he was able to incorporate it into his diet. The next thing we focus on is interactive check-ins. And we want to ensure that you have the ability to just like check in with yourself to confirm where your confidence level is um, on the areas that you're focusing on. You also have the ability to identify future areas that you wanna focus on and personalize your journey by choosing your own learning path. By the end of the program, we'll introduce you to a new chapter in your diabetes management, one that makes, you, it makes it easier for you to stay engaged on track and in charge of your health. We believe that positive reinforcement is key and you should be proud of what you accomplished in your first 14 day journey and that you learn that choices that you make help you manage your diabetes. We also offer a sensor diary and it's provided to help document your experience and identify areas that you can potentially do differently. As a caregiver with a child with diabetes, um, this sensor diary is available either in printable format or you can use it on use it electronically depending on what's best easiest way for you to learn and you can work with your child um, as they're learning how to use CGM if they're new to it. And then again, once again, we want to provide accessible resources on tips and tricks for using CGM. We have a whole lot of video tutorials that are available and we make it uh, we make them accessible in daily in the emails itself so that you have the opportunity to you know pursue more resources should you want to learn more. We also have an exceptional customer care team that's available seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern that is there for you in case you need additional support. So I'm just going to highlight just a few other areas on key topics that you're able to learn within the free step, my free cell program. Um, through the 14 day journey, you receive 11 emails over the course of the 14 days with an optional outbound customer care call, as I mentioned earlier, on day six of the program. Um, that call, again, is intended to check in to see how you, your experiences, as well as address any questions you may have. Um, we want to ensure that you have a solid onboarding experience with CGM, so we teach you how to apply and activate the sensor. I think um, the, the second image is, you know, the topic of conversation earlier where we explain the differences between CGM and BGM glucose readings. Uh, we teach you how to understand the numbers and trend arrows, as well as uh, we provide provide insight on how to interpret re reports from the readers itself. 
So how do you find out if you're eligible for the MyFreestyle program? You essentially go online at myfreestyle.us myfreestyle and we ask you key, four key questions. Who are you? How did you hear about us? What type of insurance you have? And how confident do you feel in your diabetes management? Those who are commercially insured may qualify for a Freestyle Libre 2 system voucher. It's a voucher for both a free sensor and a free reader. Um, and as a reminder, as Kelsey reviewed earlier today, it is available for those that are ages four and above. Um, it features optional real-time alarms and unsurpassed accuracy. At this time, it can only be used with a reader only as our Free Cell Libre 2 app is currently under FDA review. Now, the one thing that I do wanna highlight is that the federal law prohibits us um, for offering any copay assistance for those that are insured by federal government insurance, such as Medicare, Medicaid, or TRICARE. However, we do believe that all beneficiaries can benefit from the educational content themselves, itself, especially if they are existing CGM users, and we encourage all of them to still enroll in the program to receive the educational content only. So once you enroll in the program, you essentially receive a free CGM voucher for you to redeem at pharmacy, which is really easy and it involves three simple steps. You first step is to request a prescription from your healthcare provider for the free cell Libre 2 sensor and reader. Um, the second step is to print the sample card or you can screenshot it on your phone and bring it to pharmacy for the no cost product. This voucher automatically pops up um, for you to print when you enroll in the program itself. However, if you don't have the opportunity to print it immediately, we send you an email upon enrollment so that you have a copy of the voucher in your email inbox. And then once you take this into the retail pharmacy along with your prescription um, for the free Celebrate 2 system, um, the pharmacist has the ability to follow the instructions on the sample card itself for them to uh, provide you the no cost product. So it's a really a one, two, three easy steps um, for you to obtain free product. And we're excited to be able to uh, offer free CGM opportunity for those that are eligible. Again, getting started in the My Free Cell program is super easy. All you have to do is enroll online today at myfreestyle.us, ask your provider for a prescription for a Freestyle Libre 2 sensor and reader that can be redeemed at retail pharmacy, as well as start using your system, Freestyle Libre 2 system right away so that you can receive these, this educational content tailorized to your personal journey. Um, once again, I'm just gonna highlight our customer service call um, number 855-632-8658 should you have any questions or if you would like somebody to walk you through the program. And with that, I'll pause for any questions. Thank you, that was really good. We, have, we actually have a, a question here that I think is pretty important. Are there any resources available for school nurses who want to support their students living with diabetes that use either Libre 1 or Libre 2? So we have resources all available online on our consumer website, our website where it's freestylelibre.us that informs really how the utility of the product as well as how it works uh, how the product works. I think in the, the one thing that uh, comes to mind for myself um, outside of our product manual is that we have this PDF flyer that we can work with Bernie to send over to you. That's called our getting started guide that really just summarizes uh, how the product works functionally and then what the numbers mean as well. So that would Excellent. probably be a good approach. Yeah, if you if you get that to us, I will make sure that's included in our write up uh, and uh, the the perpetual video that will you know the permanent video that we'll keep online. Wonderful, Harry. Anything to add? No, just in terms of um, adding the school stuff, I can see that being really useful. Like if I were a kid with diabetes, to be handing that to a friend that would want to kind of get more of a feel for what my numbers mean without having to have those awkward conversations right out of the right out of the gate, to be able to hand somebody something and say, oh, this might make sense. Why don't you read it? And then we can go play. So I, I find that to be like, a it's a good resource outside of just the school. Absolutely. Um, we have a question. Can you repeat what you mentioned about health insurance? 
I heard TRICARE mentioned, and that is the insurance that they have. And, I, and just correct me if I'm wrong, I think your point was you're not able to provide any financial assistance to anyone on a federal insurance plan, which would be Medicare, Medicaid, or TRICARE, which is for veterans. Correct. So um, for TRICARE, one, you should know that CGM is covered under TRICARE's policy. It's very similar to Medicare's policy where if you are, if you have diabetes and uh, you're ha required to finger stick um, between four to six times a day and are on insulin, um, then, excuse me, I think it's, yes, it's four to six, between three and six times a day. I'm sorry if I, I don't recall the specifics. You are eligible to get covered through TRICARE through a durable medical equipment. However, we aren't able to offer the free CGM sensor and reader voucher because we aren't allowed to uh, offer copay assistance on government uh, insurance. However, if you're able to get the product under your coverage with TRICARE, you can still enroll in the program to um, receive the benefits of the educational content itself. Excellent, excellent. Well, I think that was a wonderful overview. It was great to hear from the team. It was great to hear from Bernetta. Uh, I'm excited that you're in Tampa. That's real close to Orlando. So when we're back in person at uh, Friends for Life Orlando, we're gonna have to find a way to, to get you to come on over and bring your family. Um, we actually have one more open question from, uh, from a friend, Paul Madden. He said, I've been using the Libre 2 for a few months. It's superb. The alarms have been helping me catch hypos earlier and at times before they even occur. He says, I assume you've changed the adhesive uh, because I've had no skin reaction. And he said type 1 for 59 plus years. Kelsey, has there been any change to the adhesives in, in this? Version? Yeah, I know, I know that uh, we did switch the adhesive and designed it to, to wick uh, more moisture. Um, I can't remember if that happened um, from Freestyle Libre 14 day to Freestyle Libre 2, or if it happened at some point um, while we only had Freestyle Libre 14 day, but I know there was, um, there was a, a change in adhesive at some point in the last... I want to say a year, year and a half or so. Um, I just can't exactly remember when it was. So depending on when you were having those adverse reactions, um, it could very well be because of uh, that switch we made. Oh, Paul, Paul, thanks you. You can count on that. So I'm mm -hmm. not yeah. the only one. So um, any any final comments for our our listeners here from uh, from you, Kelsey, or you, Bernetta, or Anjum? I think that, uh, yeah, what I tell providers that I call on is just that um, it just, it's easy to overcomplicate with features and benefits. Um, but uh, I think the thing to focus on is that this product is, if, if you are a patient with diabetes, it's going to make your, your life easier. It's going to give you more peace of mind and it's going to give you more freedom. Um, and it's hard to put a price tag on things like that. Um, it's done that for me and um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So. Yep. Bernetta? Um, I just like to say that, just like Kelsey said, the technology is life changing. Um, as you mentioned earlier, with the little boy pricking his fingers, I'm so used to doing this now. Is when I do go to the endocrinologist, I'm like, oh, I don't want to get my finger pricked because yeah. I'm so used to doing that. But it is a game changer. And I always know what my blood sugar is at all times, which is amazing. And I just think this great technology, and if you can get on the program, like Anjum explained, I would definitely get on the program. Excellent. Anjum, thank you so much. Um, I think you gave a great overview. Uh, we will make sure that our readers know how to access this technology and the program, and we'll, we'll uh, look forward to hearing uh, from them as they get back to us and tell us their experiences. Wonderful. Carrie, any thank final you. words? Uh, no, I just want to give a shout out to Bernie for managing so much of the Q&A live. That's, that's some fast typing. Well done, you. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> yeah, and thanks to Bernie and the whole team for putting this together. I think we'll, uh, we can end a couple minutes early here. Thank you all for joining us for CWD's very first 
Masterpiece Product Theater and learning about Freestyle Libre 2. And Thank with you that, guys enjoyed it. We'll let everyone go and have a good evening. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See ya.